20% of people, one in five people is prescribed a nephrotoxic medication by their medical doctors. That's a medication that is bad for your kidneys, toxic to your kidneys. That's what today's video is about. If you're new to our channel, subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. And we're going to talk about how to protect yourself, how to just double check to make sure your medication isn't toxic. Now, this is coming from the March 2020 Clinical Care Journal, and the study was titled Use of Nephrotoxic Medication in Adults with Chronic Kidney Disease, Parallel Corehood Studies in Swedish and U.S. Uh, kidney care, routine care, U.S. routine care. So they did this study and they looked at both, looked at Sweden and U.S. and found very similar uh, percentages. So in the U.S. it was 17% of people, in Sweden it was 20% of people get prescribed a nephrotoxic medication. Why is that? Uh, human error, honest mistakes, okay, uh, doctors maybe don't remember everything about your case, maybe they're overworked, overstressed, especially in today's healthcare system, doctors are just overworked, seeing way too many people a lot of them they should be seeing because of lack of resources and so honest mistakes are made unfortunately so how do you double check yourself so when you get prescribed medication uh, i don't recommend looking up yourself unless you really have the proper resources but you can always ask your pharmacist okay your pharmacist is a great resource for your medications and they're not going to check okay people aren't pharmacists and health professionals generally aren't going to be checking all your meds and everything against uh, with unless they're asked to so you just have to ask your pharmacist when you go to fill your script by the way can you please check this to make sure it's okay with my medications make sure um, it's okay with my health condition of kidney disease and i've never had anybody having an issue with their pharmacist checking it so they're generally very helpful in my experience and others so that's what you want to do and here are the classes of medications that were most prescribed that were very toxic so the highest category was NSAIDs non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs these are over-the-counter and prescription some of the names of like, of like Aleve, Ibuprofen, Motrin, uh, Celebrex, uh, Naproxen, high-dose aspirin is considered an EDSEN and these are toxic to the kidney bad for the kidney and so this was very high of every of the study 11% in Sweden and 9% in the US got prescribed these drugs that were nephrotoxic all right, next was antivirals. So some antivirals are not good for the kidney. Uh, check with your pharmacist, double check with your doctor, you know, like I'm gonna mention, because it's really hard for you to look up everything and get accurate information. Because if you just look up your medication online and go to any website, it can be inaccurate. Even a lot of the popular ones are, are inaccurate. Um, websites, you know, generally are made to get traffic, so they're not always accurate. So pharmacist, 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 make sure you check with them. Next, we had immunosuppressants. So even though we use immunosuppressants for kidney transplants, if you're given a improper immunosuppressant for your kidney situation, it can be nephrotoxic. And that's also why we do blood work on a lot of these immunosuppressants to make sure you stay within a good range because if you take too much, you can go out of range and it can be toxic. So I have a kidney transplant. I take anti-rejection medication. If my medication goes out of range, it's nephrotoxic. So that's why I do blood tests every three months to make sure my levels stay in range. So something you want to be mindful of. What do we got next? Phenofibrates. These is a cholesterol lowering medication. All right. Generally, they use statins. Some people get prescribed these. Low percentage, though. Not too many people. No one in Sweden, actually, but 3.6% of people in the U.S. Okay, 3.6% of that 20% or so that were prescribed. All right. Bisphosphonates. Um, those are not in the U.S. Those were in Sweden. Those were the issues. So toxic, nephrotoxic medication is pretty common, pretty commonly prescribed on accident, okay? So you just wanna always double check yourself. So the takeaway of this video is always ask your pharmacist, get the pharmacist's opinion, it's valuable, okay? Uh, you know, they, they know drugs, that's what they do, okay? they dispense drugs. So thanks for watching everybody, check out all of our other videos and to your best kidney health, bye.